All right, YouTubers, I wanted to do an update on these LT1 heads. Um, as usual, I get ahead of myself and don't document everything quite as accurately or timely as I should. But I just wanted to kind of show you how I go through the process of gasket matching the uh, exhaust opening to the header gaskets that the customer supplied. Now on these, they have that D port. I always just refer to them as the D port exhaust. But what all you got to do is color your head, find a way to accurately locate your gasket, and then let me get this thing pulled off of here. Scribe your holes. Now keep in mind, you're not going to be working very much at all on the floor of your port. Remember, you're gonna be working your roof and your and your walls or your sides. So don't get, you know, I put a scratch mark on the bottom or floor of the port, mostly just as a reference point to do my blending and my cleanup, just port uh, texture cleanup. But I just wanted you guys to see, you know, there's not a whole lot of uh, extra material on these LT1 heads when you use this style of gasket. But I will point out that they do allow the uh, roof to be raised a hundred thousandths of an inch and the width of the port will be raised or widened more than a hundred thousandths because it's kind of got a little bit of core shift but it's not too bad as far as when you look at, let me see if I can point to this. Like if you'll look like on this port, you've got your hundred thousandths to raise it. You've got a hundred thousandths or so from the raised roof to this wall to all the way to the base. But over here, there's not a whole lot of material to remove on the outer face but you will be removing it from that scribe line all the way back to the bowl so that this is flat. You want to raise your roof. Now, like I said, it gives you enough meat and material to stay inside your gasket. Raise it a hundred thousandths. You're going to gain width here, but the main thing is making it blended from the opening all the way to the bowl. It doesn't do you any good to funnel this and not blend it and pull it all the way back with straight walls in the port. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm talking about because I'm gonna move the camera over here and give you an idea on this other head that I've already got most of the rough end cutting done. All right, hopefully you can see where I'm working this head with just the raw material removal I don't want to get in the light over there. Matter of fact, let's click on our Hyber, Harbor Freight uh, light up here. But you can see where I've got my scribe line around my roof, my walls, and I'm working this down with my raw material removal to flatten these walls out. Like you're going to have that core shift. So one side of the port's going to remove more material than the other. But the main thing you want to try to remember is that you're raising your roof to your scribe line and you're going to flatten these walls out and, and mate them to your scribe line and blend it all the way back into the bowl. So this is going to be a, you know, an improvement to the flow. And like I always warn people, don't go hog wild crazy making your exhaust port exit larger than the header tubes you're going to put on the engine because it doesn't do you any good to have a huge hole that dumps into a little restrictive pipe or tube on your header so always keep that in mind when you're working these heads you know if you're not going to have super awesome big one and seven eighths headers on there don't open that up a bigger than the uh, space it's going to have available to get into when it's late, when the hot air is leaving the engine, doesn't do any good to uh, 
have a really big high flowing head that just chokes it just come kind of basically will choke itself to death have all kind of turbulence and issues trying to exit through that little bitty opening in your exhaust manifold or your header so anyway i'm in progress on these i wanted to try to give you a little bit more view of what's going on so let me see if i can get a little bit closer on one of these ports so you can see what I'm talking about, about uh, pulling the wall all the way back and blending it. Looks like you can see fairly decent right there where I'm in process of pulling this wall back to this scribe line and then from this outer surface, making that as flat of a wall as I can. Now keep in mind, I'm doing rough material removal. So even if I've got a little bit more to take off, That'll be taken off uh, during the medium cut and then final cut and port texturing, which these will get smoothed out to at least a 120 grit. But you can see, let me wipe that off, where that burr's kind of rolled over a little bit of aluminum right here. But I will tr try my darndest to stay inside that scribe line because I don't want that port to dump into that gasket and cause any headaches or issues. So basically, I'm just raising the roof, 100 thou, widening it to the gaskets, uh, scribe, we'll call it, and then making these walls as flat as I can from the opening all the way back into the bowl. You know, let me just reiterate, don't just work the first half inch of this opening and think you're doing yourself justice, because that's not a proper gasket match. That is, you know, funnel porting. I don't want to use anybody else's terminology because people get their panties in a wad. But if you're not going to pull these walls back and blend everything into your bowl, you're not really gaining anything by just funneling this outer edge. So anyway, that's where I'm at on this exhaust side uh, gasket match and blend on these LT1 cylinder heads. And like I said, I get ahead of myself sometimes and, I don't know, get to working and forget to record it. And I know, you know, people are watching these videos to learn. And, you know, sometimes the people I'm working on their cylinder heads, they like to watch the videos to see what kind of work I'm doing to them. And that way they can verify that they're getting what they expected. So, anyway, as always, guys, I appreciate you watching the channel. I want to try to get up some more videos as I can this week. Uh, certainly before the weekend, because apparently that's when most people watch videos is on the weekend. So uh, hit like, subscribe, hit the little bell, of course. And if it makes you specify how you want updates, because I've heard that rumor too. Let's get that thing rolling. I appreciate it. Have a good week.